seekers who want to attend a virtual career fair can do so by simply opening their browser and going to www.knowledgetowork.com. Once you arrive at the website, this is the landing page that you'll see. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log in, which you should find in the upper right hand corner of your screen. When you click on the login button or sign up button, you simply want to uh, create your credentials or enter credentials that you've used for a previous virtual career fair or the credentials that you established when you signed up for an account. When you've entered your credentials, the screen doesn't significantly change. What you will notice is that the red horizontal bar along the top of the website is now going to list your name. That is the uh, primary way that you can tell that you have logged into the system. Uh, when you do log into the system, that gives you the ability to, to take notes, to save company profiles, to save uh, job roles that you might find that are interesting to you. And those things kind of become important, particularly when you are attending a information dense a virtual environment um, and you want to remember some of those details, key details uh, that you glean from the virtual career fair. So it's a good idea to, to sign up. All right, so the next thing I want you to notice is that directly underneath the red horizontal bar is a banner that tells you that there is a virtual career fair uh, going on right now. Um, so when you visit this website and there isn't a virtual career fair occurring, this banner will not be present. Um, sometimes you might choose to attend our virtual career fair platform and find that there's more than one virtual career fair occurring at the same time. In today's case, we simply have one virtual career fair occurring, and that is for the New River Mount Rogers Regional Virtual Career Fair. Um, I do want you to notice that the title of the virtual career fair is a hyperlink. So the easiest way to attend is simply to click that bar, that hyperlink. So once you arrive at the website, you're going to see our promotional icon that we've been using in our materials to let you know that this is occurring. You're gonna see the dates and the time, the region that the virtual career fair is focused on. Um, but there are really two main components that you're gonna to wanna to be very familiar with to attend the virtual career fair. The first is the interactive calendar of events, and that is uh, located first. It's called the virtual connections and interactive meetings. You're going to notice that there are uh, expansion bars that represent all of the days that the event is occurring. So if the event is seven days long, you'll see seven expansion bars. If the event is two days long, you would only see two. Uh, to see the events that are scheduled for that day, you simply want to click on that expansion bar and you'll notice that uh, each one of these uh, items is an event that you can attend, whether that's a keynote speaker, um, a session with a business recruiter telling you about their uh, company culture and hiring processes, or perhaps it is a workshop. Um, they're all going to be listed in this calendar of events for the day. Um, you're going to want to notice that the day, the date, and the time is listed. Those are in, listed as they occur throughout the date. Um, you're also going to notice that the session is 30 minutes. In this case, all of these sessions are 30 minutes, but they could be 45 minutes. They could be an hour. just depends. You're going to see which business or organization is hosting uh, this live video conference, and you're also going to see a title of that event. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you're familiar with using this uh, virtual video connection calendar. The second section of the virtual career fair is the section where you're actually going to attend the business booths or profile pages. Um, so our participating businesses are here because there are so many. We have sorted them by industry. So again, you're going to notice that these are the industries that are representing the businesses currently registered for this particular virtual career fair. And in the same way that you clicked on the expansion bar, you'll do the same thing to visit the businesses that have registered in that industry. Um, one thing to note is that some businesses, although their uh, service or product 
might closely align with one particular industry, they may still hire um, positions that really seem to be more related to another industry. And a, a good example is healthcare. While healthcare employs a lot of patient focused uh, jobs and career options, they also have administrative office specialists. Uh, they have IT specialists who are taking care of their website, their databases and information, information security. Um, and they also have uh, jobs that are more closely aligned to the service industry where they are taking care of patient customer support. Um, they are perhaps in the food industry or environmental services. So you might find a business in more than one uh, industry. And that's just for your convenience. So to visit these businesses, once you've opened um, an expansion bar and you see these businesses, there are really two uh, ways to get to their profile page. The first is by clicking on their hyperlinked name. And the second is by coming over to the right hand section and clicking on their profile page. Both of those options will lead you to the same exact location. Um, and that's how you would attend and visit a booth. You would actually click and visit that page. But you can see we are now um, on 1901 Group's profile page. Um, and when you land on a business profile page, you're gonna notice that you clicked on the right name, their, their name is listed there. You're gonna see their primary business locations, but you're also gonna notice that there's a map um, that you can scroll into or scroll out of that is going to itemize all of the locations um, of this company. Um, at least the ones that they're currently hiring for. Um, you're gonna see a description of the company under the about section um, that we, you're encouraged to read to, to research that business. Each business has uh, created a hyperlink um, in their about section so that you can immediately go and apply for positions that they have open. Um, and then often you're gonna find two other sections, those benefits that our job seekers care a great deal about when you select a company to work for. And you're also going to learn a little bit about the business's company culture. So really, what is it like to work there? What kinds of things do they value? Um, how do those employees work together? Um, then on the profile page, you're going to get to another expansion bar. And this is a really important uh, component, again, to point out. This lists, if you click on that, you're going to see all of the business, the job openings that this particular company is highlighting for this virtual career fair. So again, you can scroll through. There are a couple of important things to point out. Um, for instance, if I'm looking at the IT customer support and service desk analyst position, um, I can notice that there are, I can notice the educational requirements, the work experience required, um, but there's also a list a listing of where this particular job opening is located. And this is an undisclosed street address in Abingdon, Virginia.